It's Escape to Reality with Justine and Geneva. What up? Love after lockup finale. It is a sad day <laughs> in the universe. Oh my God! But what does summer mean? What does that does mean? I June? Mean, summer, does that mean August? I mean, summer. I, I feel like summer's gonna be here soon. So yeah, they said the new season's coming summer. Um, and the new season of those of you who are 90 Day Fiance, because I feel like there's a lot of crossover in these worlds. Um, that's coming back in April, so we'll definitely be talking 90 Day Fiance happily ever after, yeah, which we've never baby. watched, which is gonna be exciting. Yeah, we're going to catch up with Chantel and them, I guess. Oh, God. Got a lot of things to do. But we're here today talking the finale of Love After Lockup, which was an all-time, to me, great episode. I know a lot I got, happened. It was I great. Had seven seasons of that show, Game of Thrones. I didn't yeah. realize I was, like, the only person in America who wasn't watching it. So I, Told I feel you. like really am missing the boat there. Are I you going to actually it. watch it? I'm, I've really been seriously thinking about it. I just need uh, time whatever. to. Whatever. No, I just, I don't have HBO, so I got to, it's a whole thing. End up I'll and out of you, my house, so I'll I don't have. I'll give you my login. Oh, oh, no, but I can get it. I, can, I mean, I can do a, a thing, but I just, um, I got to get, I got to get, I like to, I want to watch it on my TV, I feel like, oh, and I want you Tyler have to. to watch it. So Tyler, I, yes, my Roku is, uh. It's the best working, show so, of all at the hotel. Time. So, but I am gonna watch that. It's the greatest. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, so we're gonna dive right in. Usually we do celeb gossip, but it was a two-hour show, so we're gonna get into the mix. Yes. No time um, to waste. Before we dive in, remember we do feature our tweets of the week. You guys are hilarious um, on Twitter at Escape Two Pod and on Instagram at Escape to Reality Podcasts. So if you got some good love after lockup thoughts, don't forget to tag us and also use the hashtag love after lockup, of course. Um, all right. So first, we got to start with Brit and Marcelino, which I think is the truest love story of this of the uh, oh my God, who of the season. It? OK, Both so question. Did they get married at the same place that Colton Larissa got married in, in uh, <laughs> Vegas? I don't think so. God, it looked the same. Did it? Oh, it did. oh well, they were like in a. You think uh, just because it was nighttime or the, uh, I thought they got married kind of an outdoor situation. Oh, did Lor- Colt and Larissa get married inside? I thought so. Oh, and okay. it was a lot of flowers like and stuff. But okay. it always looks the same. Maybe. Right. I, I If anybody says, that, yeah, maybe I could totally be missing that. They invited Amanda to the wedding. <laughs> um, Amanda is a nice girl. She came around, right? She um, really cares about Brittany. Yeah. She's Britney's true love. Britney doesn't even know it. What I did enjoy about this was that the wedding seemed legitimate. Like they had family in town. It was like a real nice like people seemed like to be there to support. No, it does. Um, totally. It really does. Yeah. And and Marcelino is such a he is such a lady and him with those. She gave such standard vows and he's giving these like like emotional crying like oh, wow. And I loved the stepdad was really sweet. Oh my god, what a cute guy. I loved him. Her, her little was kid was there. <laughs> he is so freaking adorable. Adorable. He's getting ready next to all the empty beers and the Oh my room. god. He is the cutest little thing I've ever seen in my life he in really that was suit. He cute. He was adorable. And he seems really well adjusted of her she better keep her head on straight i'm gonna so. be heartbroken if she, she fucks I, this up you know I, she doesn't she seems like she's gonna be okay i think she she's does gonna be all right she's only out five months how can your life change so much i know you know right oh the best was when they were exchanging the vows um his friends in the background were like come on pelon like yelling at him and i looked up <laughs> pelon because i thought i knew what it meant and i was right it means bald so they call him like baldy as like <laughs> oh wow yeah. oh my god that's hilarious <laughs> really loved um you know i'm not attracted to him but he looked really nice i like the white coat on him yeah I, one of my pet peeves is a wedding that is uh, and no offense to anybody who's had this color theme but i hate black white and red for weddings i just like it feels it's too s- valentine's day yeah i don't know or just like every it's just everybody does it and i feel like everybody who does it never mind i'm not gonna finish but yes black white and red <laughs> gets <laughs> divorced i don't want to piss people off no it just seems like just kind of like uh just basic basic shit. yes yeah. exactly yeah. um but i thought it was sweet i think this was like I thought it was very sweet. These too. by far are the most. Yeah. This is the most positive outcome. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. And and I was uh, Amanda seems genuine. Now she's yep. dating a guy too. She, yeah, she I brought her boyfriend. That's hilarious. That was wearing so black funny. like they were at a funeral, which I thought was great. Bunky was there looking good. Um Bunky. America's sweetheart. I freaking love her. What a sweetheart yeah. she is, right? God, and she's, she's got a lot worried. of hair, huh? She's yeah, she t- <laughs> she does a lot of hair. She's worried, but yeah, she is okay. worried. She every time she's like, "I'm happy for her," but like she always had to make a comment. Yeah, um, yeah. I hope they don't ever have a fight because they do seem like a genuine good friendship. Yeah, totally. I would have liked her hair to be one color. Yes, the two, and it wasn't uh, like balayage or ombre it was just like no it halfway down her trim. hair it was just like it needs different. a trim and it needs to be blown up. but she's adorable she's the cutest little thing and she's but wearing they're her definitely little hoochie the, uh bridesmaids right. dress i loved it they're definitely the winners of the season i think in terms of the positive vibe. yes i love the cuts or he's like uh here's j cat killer and my grimson is like a murderer's row <laughs> i know i loved all those guys bunch of vatos <laughs> It was good. <laughs> and I love the uh, production, like taping them, like um, all the... Slow-mo. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was <laughs> hilarious. In. I really loved it. It was good. I'm happy for them, honestly, because they do seem like well-matched. And uh seems like he's going to be a good dad, so I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, at the end with the flesh, uh, was the little boy psychic or they knew they were having a girl? Probably they knew. Yeah, they probably knew. Yeah, yeah. I loved him. It's I like, can't wait duh, to see my sister. idiot. There's a baby in my mom's I know. belly. I love that. A kid's really well adjusted, I have to say. Really well. They, um, yeah, they're yeah. doing... He is the. He was the cutest little thing in that suit. Oh, my God. This story really took a, like, uh, a left turn from, like, going to be this, like lesbian drama to like this couple with a child getting married <laughs> yeah it's, it's out of control and she was 12 and she ran away that's a hard life man yeah. four sisters yeah they all look so different it's got to be four different parents yeah but i think um they took her quarters i'm hopeful that Remember they that? that they Jeez. make it yeah i i think they will marcelino is in it for the long haul him holding that baby he was so proud yeah even though the poor daughter is gonna watch and he's he already hoped it was a boy the second he found <laughs> out but yeah so they did the the ending of their story was yeah they had a baby and all is well they're buying they're moving into a home in vegas getting out of the prison apartment so yeah it's all good yeah it's very positive it was really, it was sweet. I, yeah. I was almost bored with it. It was just too normal. <laughs> well, then, perfect transition to yeah. Scott and Lizzie. Woo. Um, wow. <laughs> now, what a turn that story took, right? too. Ten days out, uh, post-fight, he's, like, laying face down in the bed like a toddler pouting. Or um, uh, over or dead with an overdose could have been either one. Right? Who knew, right? She walks in and tells her he looked at his account, knows she spent 2000 shopping, feels used. Tells her about his money problems. Also, but he's back to his old teeth. I guess he had to return those because <laughs> the clothes were too out. much. Um, um, but she wasn't using you when she bought half the menu that she couldn't, right. couldn't afford to buy her either. Exactly. And she's yelling, like, it's only money, Scott. You don't have money to help me out. If you what don't have money. What diddly do, Scott? <laughs> right? She's like, if you don't have money, I don't need you. I think that's what she said. Yes. Um, and she, she laid it out nasty uh, style absolutely and he's crying oh god it was just pathetic i do feel bad for the guy but i mean he did it to himself he did it to himself the way that she was just oh she was cold blooded she didn't even try to pretend like yeah she had sympathy for him we can make it through no couldn't even (laughs) mouth the words out of her mouth oh she couldn't she leaves in her bunny slippers down the hall oh my Um, god he does remind me like a little poo bear the way he uh it's just like, oh, well, you know, it's just like, little Eeyore. Uh, yeah, Eeyore. Yeah. Uh, oh. Lizzie goes back to her room, which is uh, full. There's something about rainbow colored zebra print that's like very trashy. And like, and it's only been a week and you're making yourself at home in this hotel, <laughs> this room, hotel with room with your with your zebra print from Claire's. I mean, it's just oh, crazy. It's good. Uh, Lizzie tells her daughter that she claims she's upset because Scott lied, not because he's broke. Which of we course. gotta spruce it up in here, Jasmine. Right, right. Add that, add that zebra print. Oh, I love the daughter saying like, "My mom doesn't want to admit it, but he was a trick." Um, I was she's like, so course. smart too. And she's like, "Why don't you just be an adult and, right. you know, break up with him?" And Lizzie says she really loved him. Yeah, fucking right. Um, no one believes that in America. Yeah, right. And Santa Claus exists, bitch. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, don't ruin it. We could have a few young <laughs> listeners out there. No, I'm just kidding. Your life's ruined if you're already if you're, listening to us. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, God. Okay, so speaking of Santa, this is a little bit of a side. How old were you when you found out Santa wasn't real? I don't Do remember, remember exactly, but probably like 10 or 11. Okay, so my good friend, my best friends from when I was eight, I accidentally so when I was like three or four my dad dressed up as Santa to my preschool Aww. and I knew it was his voice and so he just told me like at four that Santa was fake oh and, my god <laughs> and so I ruined it for my friends when we were like eight years old and to this day she will bring it up like pissed off like she literally holds it against that me is a- and I'm like I didn't think eight was that young but I guess now like now that I've talked to a lot of people it does sound like maybe it was a little young but I was just like what are you talking about Santa? well and, and, like, and I'm sure you're not the only person who said that to her I mean there's like, other people on the school bus that but it is stuff. crazy to me that like children today can still believe in Santa when they have like phones at five years old yeah well my dad I have I called my dad or I text my dad I'm like call the ho- call my phone pretend you're Santa for Warner Warner's like uh-huh. that's pop pops that's not santa so <laughs> yeah, you know it's, i probably saying. ruined it for him too <laughs> yeah uh, anyways all right um, kids aren't stupid you know but they maybe you'd like to play along that's funny though that you ruined her life i know she brings it up all the time um <laughs> you did her a favor so she says she's gonna go back and give him the ring lizzie so she strolls back to the room he starts crying immediately um and she gives him back the ring and she says, like, I'm willing to be friends, long distance friends, which I thought was hilarious. Jeez. Uh, and he just got completely blayed. She's just brutal. Um, She's so heartless. So heartless. And he's like, well, then I'm going to I'm not going to leave then, like trying to fight for her. And she's like, why, Scott? You need to leave. You need to get out of here. And he like throws his cell phone down the toilet. Um, I felt like she was a little bit panicked and then she wasn't panicked or she was a little bit or she so when did he throw the phone down i missed that it was like as he was grabbing his stuff he just threw his phone down and like left and then oh oh he didn't it was the phone not the ring no i i think he threw the ring down too or i something. thought the ring i thought the, the phone was the already phone? in the toilet and he it, threw the <laughs> ring but maybe it was maybe. just the phone it, maybe it's the. Fo- it also looked like there was a lighter in there. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not a trash can. What's Jeez. happening? How are you going to call um, your son to pick you up from the airport? God, right. Um, and then it looked like the producers buy him a plane ticket. Is that part of the deal? I guess so. Yeah, he's like crying out, some teeth out in front of too? a out of a dealership. Like I want to go home. Oh from my a god! What god. A, can you imagine driving by this situation? I oh mean, my. it's it's amazing. So it was shocking to me to see how cold blooded she was. But I mean, I guess that's how she's managed to get eight hundred thousand dollars out of people over the years is just being like yeah. having no human emotion. It but even like more she surprising, she would do her daughter dirty in a way. Right? Right? Oh God. Even more surprising to me, though, is her flash forward and she's working at a factory, like holding down a job. Like she's Laverne and fucking Shirley over here. <laughs> right. Has her own place. I mean, still driving Scott's car. I was shocked. That, I, I was, was shocked. shocked. So was I. I thought it was going to be like flash forward to her and some unstable relationship with some guy who's like paying for her. Like I, it was very surprising. I am. Me. And that, that woman, Sharon, whoever the hell her name is. And she's like, well, I used to be my own boss. I was a stripper. It's right like, and oh, i love yeah. i She's loved like, the boss was like and when your resume came across my desk i'm like what resume what is she <laughs> what kind of resume is she submitting i don't understand oh, man well good for her she took her nails off and she's getting yeah. the hard work done she looked healthy i will give she her looked that. really like, good she did she looked good she looked really healthy yeah yeah and everybody needs a second chance i would love yeah. to after watching this it's like these women it's like god i want to open up a something to help these women after they get out of prison because yeah. lizzie really she yeah it, it gave, just was so gotta far give sometimes people a chance but from what i was expecting it was she's just stealing surprising. the toilet paper out of the company bathroom and bring it home at night i mean but. she even brought like she had her little lunch packed i was just like wow look at you like i don't know it was just like it yeah was very no i was very proud of her i was yeah. shocked it blew me away me but too. then it's just so funny that she gets in that car and drives away <laughs> i know that was like the perfect that was a cherry on top 100 percent. like she's completely <laughs> self-sufficient but driving that mazda miata to the ground I can't he it. get that he couldn't get that car back I guess I it's a gift. Who knows? But. Meanwhile, Scott's working on paying off the debt, which is like, what does that even mean? Is like, I don't. You're done, Scott. Yeah, it's it's over for you. you Got to push some more cocaine. I don't know what to say. He has a new a new chick, Jasmine. 
Um, I thought it was going to be the daughter in like me a too. sick, twisted way. Oh, like <laughs> is too. the daughter now involved? The or? producers knew what they were doing because they kept yeah. they kept promoing the Jasmine with name. the little legs. They're yeah. not having sex, but she seemed into him. Oddly enough, um, she's beautiful too. Very beautiful. Who she's would pain. think he could get a more beautiful woman? This is I what mean, I'm saying. Like both sides to me were shocking. A that Lizzie was like locked up and had a job, and B that Scott found another chick. The like. Outside. Danny, and he was like Danny it's, Zuko'd up with his dark right, hair, right? Out there picking lemons. Oh God! You want to pick some lemons? Hey, you want to come over and find a bike? I got a lot of bikes in my shed. If you want to pick one out at the yeah, gas what station, that mean? yeah. That's bizarre. She needed a bike to get around him. I'm assuming that he just like started up. Was she working the cash register there? Or I just I wonder. Don't even know what was happening? It was good though. She's I mean, really cute. Yeah. Good for him. I think, like, listen, even though they didn't end up together, I think that is actually the best case scenario. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Scott's off the uh, money train, hopefully. Hopefully he's not doing it again with this chick. And uh, Lizzie's self-sufficient, so. Yeah, Lizzie needed that. I would say another happy ending in a different way. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) Lizzie, yeah. Yeah. She's she's a devil, man. She's got a dark side, but she, um, hopefully she stays clean and. Yep does good for jasmine the rest of her life because my heart goes out for jasmine not Me having too. a mom for that long and yeah i hope so i was really happy yeah uh, and good. she was like i'm so happy he's gone it's just like oh god i'm so happy my parents were okay Jesus. made good choices in life Jesus I know. Christ. God. um all right matt and caitlin <laughs> so oh, my lord the, what i was thinking the whole time throughout this like finale episode was like they've really come a long way from like ripping each other's clothes off in the woods and like not being able to like stop the attraction like they yeah, both rolling just around seen... in the woods <laughs> on the <laughs> side of the road we'll never forget that straight out of prison into the woods god. oh my god they just did not um, care she's still she's living at sap at, in her hair still <laughs> right she's still living at matt's mom's house i love matt's mom i mean poor matt's mom i love her can we get rid of this bitch jeez <laughs> Here we go again is what she said, which I thought was great. Um, video. She she did a video visit with Matt where they fight the whole time. Um, and she's like bringing up his case on the thing. I and know. It's just like, yeah, keep your mouth shut, Caitlin. Well, also the way he just strolled in um, to the combo was kind of like he was back home in jail. Just like he looked very comfortable. Yeah. Like, just like he's back there. What are you going to do? And he's saying like, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Well, you know how to not get back in there. You've spent enough time. You right? it in there a little bit. I can't believe him. I thought it was also uh, he asked if she's going to help bail him out. She's not sure. Um, it shows <laughs> Matt's mom and, and Caitlin driving to court. Did you notice his mom gripping the wheel at 10 and 2 as she was driving? She's <laughs> like, she's like a school. champ. She's ready to go. <laughs> Um, amazing that Matt's mom has never bailed him out. That was jaw dropping. I couldn't Ever? believe it. Even when Not he even was the young? first time. God, Shocking. good for her. That tough love didn't work with that psychopath. <laughs> no, it definitely didn't. I thought that was fascinating. God, I would have sold my house that have been in foreclosure. I would have been like three, four mortgages out. I Crazy. mean, I guess after a while. But Good I mean, not her. even the first time. Good for her. I mean, I, I kind of envy it. It's really because she doesn't it's seem like she doesn't blooded. love him. But it's almost like she grew up in a different era where it's like. I think she also knows that he's just a flop. Like he's kind yeah. of a failure. Maybe he had gotten in into a lot of trouble like with Juvie before that. Yeah, maybe. She just she's was just fed up. Crazy. I thought but it was also. Not the first time. I know. That was right? incredible. Also, all the. um mug shots like as they go through them that was like, scary right god it's just in the facial hair like he's really well groomed in prison <laughs> right he looked rough this last time though like he his did. hair just ugh, bad and um, then and she's like well you know caitlin i don't think you're ever gonna be able to get out of it you're gonna be a prison wife <laughs> that's like shit that's cold man <laughs> right um so uh his bail is set so the prosecutor recommends twenty five thousand dollar bail, and the judge reduces it to seventy five hundred. Well, the prosecutor was right. Keep that loser in there. Well, you know what it is is that when bail the money goes to the local muni- muni- municipality for, so the judge is essentially trying to get the bail because that helps oh, his local court. Okay, yeah. Wow. So it's a hustle. 
Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Everybody's so, getting something in this exactly, world. Exactly. In this fucked up system. So she, Caitlin decides to bail him out. Um, she had to come up with 750 for the bail yeah. bondsman. How does yeah. that work? Then the bail, who, the, and then it's who like, comes I think up it's like with a the loan. seven? And then and who ends up paying that at the end of the day? I don't know. I wonder if it, if it's on her. Let's see. Uh, let's look this up. I'm very intrigued. You know, the Matt's mom, she is. she was crying in court, but she's just over it. Right? So, oh, okay. It says, um, if a defendant does not appear in court, they're fucked. But if they do, upon conclusion of the court case, the bail bond is dissolved and the collateral is returned to the person who posted it. So she would technically get her money back if everything goes. But she only posted 10%, so. Right. I don't know. So if they don't show up, so she took a risk because if he doesn't show up, they're fucked. But I wonder who pays the rest of the seven thousand five hundred the bail right. bondsmen they just don't and that's just how it works they just that's how huh i don't know it's fascinating yeah. if anybody has experience with bail let us know on twitter <laughs> escape to pot i'd be intrigued um so he gets out of jail um and shocker he doesn't go to his mom's house he goes to sam's our our boy man um, sam why does <laughs> sam want to sam was is he that bored that he really right? lets him in? Who would want that loser in their house? I don't know. So he uh, he rolls up in an unmarked Lexus. Did you notice his car? It was like they'd removed all the like Lexus identifiers from the car. I didn't. Um, yeah, it was weird. Um, so he rolls back up to his mom's house um, to pick some things up. And she's doing laundry. Um, and they get into it. And they break up. It was a lot calmer than I thought it would be. It was. I thought I loved when she said, like, you know, we met in prison and blah, blah, blah. I thought our fairy tale had been written. It was like, what kind of fairy tale is that? <laughs> um, oh, God. Do you think he rolled up to the house just to get her to leave? Like, I almost feel like he went there to just have her. I think she was getting her stuff together. Okay. And maybe he knew she was going to be leaving i feel like or or they forced them to have an interaction maybe and they knew that she was yeah i wonder why yeah and god what a jerk i know he really i mean it's just crazy how their relationship like dissolved from like this passion filled like we're gonna be together and like he was into her and she was into him and then now it's like they just hate each other he never had a girlfriend before and he loved her and and I think, like, she was really that, like, last-ditch effort by the car. Like, you don't care, and I gave you everything. Like, she wanted him to say something different, and yeah. he was stone cold and didn't say anything. He's so damaged. Ah, and it's crazy. Oh, God, what was I going to say? And um, she just, I think, <laughs> I mean, the flashbacks back to the the funeral fight was one of the all-time um, It is. And I, I, know, I don't know why it makes me giggle, but it's I know. just... It's really screwed. Oh, her mom and her mom just died and you're doing treating her like this and she's the one bailing you out. Your mom would have left you in there to rot, you asshole. Right? I hope he, he watches this and sees that. And okay, so he he rented a car that was stolen. What kind of rental service is it? Is it the freaking <laughs> you renting uh what's her face's Tracy's car? What the hell's going on there? I no, I thought the same thing. Yeah, so his excuse was that he rented a car that was stolen and didn't know. I need more um, explanation on that. Me too. Um, yeah, I mean, it was there. They had a real quick. It was a, a hot and fast into a crash and burn relationship. It was pretty wild. Um, How awkward for Matt's mom. I love Matt's mom. She's sit over there and it. Spend all that time with Caitlin all alone. <laughs> she just wants her house back. She doesn't want to see Matt. She wants. She wants out. And the dad um, must just be done with it all because he's nowhere to be found, right? Oh yeah, no, I don't even know he's where he's doing dad HVAC. Is. Yeah, he's doing HVAC. He's got his business. Um, yeah, I think Caitlin. It was rough. It was it was a rough situation for her for sure. Um, it just she. I don't Poor know. If she Caitlin, went all I feel in bad. Where's she going? I don't know. So the update was he had a new girlfriend. Yeah. Um, and what was her update? And her update was that they just were broken up. Caitlin mm. and Matt are broken up, and he's living with his new girlfriend Oof. awaiting trial. Oof. God. Yeah. It, it's a man's world. Right? I mean, she she really got fucked in that situation. <laughs> I mean, not the best judgment to get involved with him, period. But uh, 
Didn't go well. Oh, Didn't good. go well for her. Um, I feel bad for her. Okay. These next two are my absolute That's why you don't pick faves. a fucking inmate. A, a, f- a 15-time con man. 15 times. God, those mug shots are creepy. Oof. It's really cre- you know You know what it reminded me of? Like You know when it does like those like... Uh, some person took a picture a year for 50 years and here's his aging. It was like, you could literally see him getting older, 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 older. It was yeah. just like, Jesus, I can't what handle are you stuff doing? Like that. It makes me too emotional. God, you're a mess. <laughs> um, all right. Talk about a transformation. I can't even, I can't even talk about it. I was so shocked. Clinton Tracy. I have never seen a person change like she did. That's just not eating, right? That's Absolutely just not, not, not. eating. Okay. If that was eating, we would all be on some freaking prison diet and like body. Do- Look at all these she fad says she's diets. not eating. Yeah. Right. I no. I literally. I can't even tell you how shocking her appearance was to me. Oh, like, I she looks unrecognizable. I, she looks completely different. It just it was disgusting. I couldn't even. I, she was, needs some iron supplements. How's she oof. even awake? <laughs> supplements oh my god i mean god. it was hard like i i've never been so shocked to see somebody how long was she locked up not that only long. like a few right she lost how 40 can you pounds drop in that three much weeks? weight I, I, she looks so healthy before she's like a supermodel compared to that one i mean you would never think i mean i know we were kind of like yeah her stuff did the lingerie whatever but like comparatively she looked uh, oh 100 but oh uh, yeah she oh yeah God. She looked like way, way better. I would never want to see her in lingerie oh, like that. Oh my god! Not so like we the pick... people on the bus. <laughs> god, right? Uh, we pick back up. He's uh, staring at the ring. He's holding it in his really terrible house. So Did he you lives his in bed? New Mexico. Okay, so now we know where he lives. Yeah, and he's a, such a Broncos diehard Broncos fan. Diehard yeah, Broncos fan. Right. Has no sheets. Has a Broncos blanket. Yeah, and... you're right. No sheets. Ugh nasty oh, it's mattress on the ground and the blankets stick to the bed because you know why oh, god all right um he's excited he's... because she called and apologized and they're back together and he's gonna pick her up oh my god doesn't bother to make the bed or clean the house um he's that just... house Ugh. i mean it's probably the toilets haven't been washed in no. ages it reminded me so much of breaking bad like new mexico is where they filmed to breaking bad and just yes. like the whole vibe was just like it looked like like a a, a crack house like a, a halfway house or something it did it seemed like the like, house was gonna go up in flames the ugh. cat was pissed to live there it was gross it was terrible the cat probably shits there's probably dried up cat shit dried onto the carpet ugh. god i mean the house looked in complete disarray the whole neighborhood looked terrible um so he rolls up to pick her up in another car i don't understand yeah, all these his hot rods She's so skinny. Again, she, so she has her trash bag of clothes, gets onto the bus. She lost 40 pounds. So skinny. Her face. Her So ugh, sad. I just, oh my God. She also was doing something with her mouth. Like, I think she was high when she got picked up. Like. Yeah. yeah. She was doing something weird with like her mouth and her tongue. The way she like um, finagled that bag yes. into the. <laughs> Into the seat? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, my God. She changes into clothes she bought at the prison commissary, um, and people on the bus are trying to get a peep. Oh, it was uncomfortable. Not to be mean, but she does look like she belongs in Coco. I mean, it was really scary. She looked really rough. Like, I couldn't stop, like, staring at her and just being like, what happened? I just, I've never seen somebody look so different so quickly, like not in like a, a freaking like survivor. Like it, it was, was like she was on survivor. Yeah, yeah, it was. Or naked and afraid. It was yes. scary. Oh, her God. jaw, you could really see like the, the, the skull of her head. Yes. And just like her eyes were sunken in and sad. just like. It's oh, really sad. God. It really it made me sad because even though Tracy obviously is a complete disaster, like I really got a lot of joy out of her character early on in the season because it was just like she was just like this, like, yeah, and I think larger she's than a, life kind of ridiculous person, and, and yeah, it made me sad. Yeah, I think she's a nice person. She's just sick with drugs. Oof, so sick. Meanwhile, um, she's waiting right, on the side of the road. Because this is not like she says she doesn't want to eat because people no. will eat that prison burrito or prison pie if you right. get hungry enough. If you can buy clothes from commissary, you could buy some top ramen from the freaking. Yeah, true. Good like, point. Good point. Just, I know that was quite the saucy outfit she's getting from the commissary. Yeah, she's got the heels in the I dirt know. on the side Damn. of the road, ready to get picked up. 
And that bus just drops her off, like not at a bus stop. No, nowhere, just like is right that like the... safe? Like she's literally know. on the highway. Um, <laughs> so she's standing there with her trash bag, waiting for Clint to pick her up. He rolls up. I've never seen a human act the way he acts around pe- her. It's oh like, my god, he's so obsessed. It's like it makes me uncomfortable. Oh, he picks her up and he's Ugh. screaming and hooting and hollering. She's like, "Oh god, oh, oh!" Like it's like, what is happening? It's like it's his child, and they thought she was kidnapped, and she he hasn't seen her in a long time. It's really creepy. <laughs> Ah, that's such a good description. It was very weird. Um, he just the level of obsession he demonstrates is is real weird. Um, and she keeps saying like, "I know you love bigger girls, honey." And he's like, "I do." Um, <laughs> that's what I want to hear though. Like, you got to eat more. Uh, like, that's, right? That's music to my ears right Someone there. That, that should be my wedding vows. <laughs> <laughs> You're too skinny. Got to eat more. It's like, all right, right let's go to Chili's. I'm, I'm yeah. in. Let's go to Arby's. Yeah, let's um, go to Arby's. <laughs> um, yeah, he uh, is just so happy to see her and immediately is like, you're never going to leave me again, right? And she like kind of pauses. She's like, no. It's like, I'll no. never leave you until you, I hope you got crack in that engagement ring. <laughs> right? Uh, I hope you have a supply in your house. Otherwise, I'm leaving tonight. Um, <laughs> so should they get into the car. He tries to like lift her onto the hood, which was weird. I thought they were going to just have sex right there on the hood. Oh, God. Ugh. Um, oh my god it really makes me nervous the sex because what do i I mean where is she i don't know uh, it's just there's something like like looking at her now makes me so uncomfortable i saw Uh, your tweet comparing her to the momo person from youtube oh my god like haunting children and like she does remind you of it and oh oh, did we talk about her change on the bus i can't remember that was just it's just crazy the Uh. The people Ugh. watching her, she just doesn't Ugh. care at all. I mean, I can see myself doing that and thinking like people aren't watching me, but because I've been in like stores before, I put the clothes on over my clothes. Oh, but, I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, not yeah. the same though. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, putting clothes over the <laughs> is completely different than completely changing. <laughs> but if your you're on a bus, public. you feel like you've really uh, you're. By, I guess you're on an airplane. You just go back to the. Ugh. Oh my god. God, that was terrible. Um, so he takes her home. She makes no comments about the state of appearance of his home. So it's nice compared to where she's been. Right. And uh, their their story ends with a disgusting scene of her getting undressed while he lays on the unmade bed. Oh my god! Ugh. They just love that storyline with them before their pre sex, and she's like, Ugh. she can't wait to get her shirt off, and he's laying there. It's she's like so showing nasty. her emaciated stomach as she gets undressed. And oh my god. Oh, yeah. can you imagine? No, I just them having, the skin oh. has to be like hanging off. Like she literally, the the drastic body changes. They make insane. it so uh, we can just picture everything. They don't leave anything to the imagination when it comes to their nope. sex life. No, those love know. after lockup. They just want to devastate us for life. Ugh. So the update was um, Clint's been fired by his ex wife from the hotel. <laughs> For and her. Uh, he's he working at the meat market. showed up. No, probably not. And he's working at the meat market with for his parents. His parents shouldn't be giving him a job. They're the reason he is the way he is. Oh, they're enablers for sure. God, um, and who wants him touching their food with his skin falling off onto the okay. skin flakes onto the, you know, the cold uh, cuts that you're buying? It's nasty. Yeah, and uh, Tracy and him are still together. Um, ugh. I just yeah, Tracy in that red shirt. She hasn't uh, gained any weight back. And no. they're just like, well, no, I think that was filmed right <laughs> after. Cause she said like, this is our first day together. So when they, when they said jinx, I saw somebody put a meme together that said jinx, a buy me a Coke. And they crossed out Coke and put crack. <laughs> I like that. Uh, uh, I mean, so good. It's the, their whole story was absolutely bizarre and like what happened? No one cares about the car. Are we ever going to get an Yeah. Why don't you ask car? like, Hey, where'd the rental car go? Can <laughs> right. we find it? Can we f- figure right. out where, where, what freaking. It's honestly like he's under her spell or something. Like he doesn't have the ability to think rationally around her at all. Like such an idiot. It's crazy. It's just, it's, it was. His parents should be ashamed because. I don't know where the other siblings are and how they turned out, but they effed up with him and he's the yep. only son. It's like they babied the shit out of him when they should it's, be trying to push him to be a man. The dad's a I decent mean, person. It's just, it's such a failure. And I, he just, 
he i don't know he's willing to give anything to this woman and she's just gonna oh god i don't know if she doesn't get clean it's a terrible situation it's terrible regardless but it's pretty fascinating i mean they were not getting clean no i don't think so they were very entertaining and i guess his second wife i was reading real quick online that she committed suicide like a few months after or something like that and the family blames clint and he has a dark history Mm. i mean yeah it's like it's literally like he's under her spell and it's just insane and he proposes again it's like you already get. I mean, you're already married. Yeah, There's you're already need married. To propose. Oh God, he just. It is wild to see that her in the wedding dress and how healthy and pretty she I looked. Know. He she looks like been... a supermodel compared to that. It just. Yep. Is crazy. He would have been the most comfortable. The only way I think he feels comfortable is if he's like handcuffed to her. That's it. Like he really wants zero distance all the time. Wants to know everything that's happening. It's just bizarre. I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what the update is. That if there's like today, I want to know. I know. Me too. Are they doing a reunion? I don't think so. It didn't look like it. I don't think so. Mm. You know what? That means the show's even more real if they're not giving us a reunion. That's a reunion I'd watch. Yeah. Yeah, me too, though. All right. Wrapping up with the uh, couple of the season. The thruple. Megan, Michael, Sarah. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Wow. So Michael's gone. So it's just Megan and Sarah. Um, Michael, you really effed up right at the end of the season. Oof. You had to go get <laughs> arrested. Right? You really shut the bed. You could have kept this thing rolling. Um, oh, it would have been good if they were all together. Damn it. <laughs> uh, so they're meeting in the lobby of the hotel. Classy with the free coffee and the. I thought they were going to be in a. Co- I thought they were in a freaking conference. <laughs> no, room. they were like literally in the lobby, which I just I like. They got two weird. little old people next to staring at. Oh, I can't with that. Um. So Sarah sits down and she asks, "Who do you think I am?" She's like, "Why are you asking me questions?" Um. And she says, "I'm pregnant and married." And I loved Megan's answer was, "He's been cheating on me." <laughs> I actually um, loved Megan. I thought she was Megan very sharp. Megan handled it like and, a champ. And it and was crazy. Yeah. Now I, when the producers are asking her at the beginning though like yeah. you want to meet mm-hmm. you think that's all genuine maybe well, she knew I think so. Think I don't she knew. I don't think she, she knew. I think she knew of her that she, she was knew a baby of model, her but yeah, not yeah, that yeah. the relationship. No. Yeah. I don't think she did either. And I think what she did brilliantly here is she like let Sarah kind of hang herself by acting out and just stayed super calm, which I think took a lot of discipline to like not flip out, you know? Oh yeah. Um, It was pretty amazing to watch. Like she has such a great dad. I don't know where her mom is, but they raised her right. She blew me away. How calm she was. Right. And so like Sarah's like getting all loud. She's like, you got played. And Megan, you decide chick. She was like, you're continuously getting played because you're still with him, which I, I was love that. Amazing. Um, and then that she's like, genius. why are you yelling at me? Like, what are you going to do? And Sarah's like, I'm not going to do shit. I'm a classy bitch. I'm pregnant. <laughs> like, I'm a mom. Always... It's like, yeah, that matters. Yeah, right. Um, uh, and, and then Megan says she didn't know about her at all. Yeah. And what was yeah. the something where she was like, are you making a racial joke? Because she was, like, white, and she was, like, uh, it's not because you're white. It's because uh, you're class. Because she goes, uh, yeah, because you a hoe. I love yes. it. Well, because uh, she goes, Sarah goes, well, um, you know, he do- certainly has different tastes in women. And, and Megan's, like, yeah, he does, you know. And mm-hmm. so then she's, yes. like, don't make this because I'm white. And right. it's, like, it wasn't because you're freaking white. It's because you're an idiot. Right. It was good. Megan was on point. I Megan loved was, it. It was shocking to me how well she handled that because I like really didn't see her having that in her. God, if I right. was Michael, I'd be like like Maury Povich, Jerry Springer. I'd be like laughing and cheering for <laughs> Megan, and it would right. turn me on. I'd have to be with Megan. Like Sarah <laughs> made a fool of herself. Totally, she did. She also just came in like trying to look extra pregnant. Like I just felt like she looked like like she was yeah, really trying to put the belly pre- out. It was like calm down. You're not crowning, honey. Get right. a life. <laughs> Um. So she walks away. She's like, "I'm done." And goes to the bathroom. And then Megan's like listening to her around the corner rant about being a mom. And um, Megan's like, "You're so mad. Like I did this to you." And then Sarah finally admits, "Like you're right. He did this." Um, I love that she was yeah. so calm and 
collected so and her heart she's the one who lost her virginity to this right. guy and like then sarah gets off on this she's like keeps calling yourself the wife why do you keep claiming him like i know that? exactly what are you what are you claiming you're claiming a dude who's so ruthless that he's gonna sleep with a virgin while he's married to you getting you pregnant like what are you talking about and she's got the she like keeps putting the bait i love how she re- unveils the pregnancy with like her tiny like she ate a large lunch like i don't even know if you're fat or if you're pregnant exactly say you're I pregnant thought. she looks just like frumpy to me i was like this is not the outfit to roll in like i'm pregnant and she's um, a little you were right though megan would have megan would beat her ass i think so if it came down to it she wouldn't yeah. want to but it right. push came to shove she would break that red nail i loved her nails oh they did look good um so sarah's like you know if this happened to me i would just sit down and say what do you want to know megan's like okay what do you want to know um yeah she she was so calm calm. i loved her and she's like are you pregnant i love megan no thank god oh i love Um, that reaction too because that's and megan says she feels defiled which i agree oh my heart really broke for her when she was saying all that Sarah asks about if she knows her his family, and she says yes. And so Sarah now knows that the mom was playing both sides. And when they do the flashbacks, it is pretty like it is pretty dirty. The mom like, "Hi, Megan," and then like, "Hi, Sarah." Like, I, weird. you know, it, what it's not her. It it does suck. Like that's your now. That's the mother. Poor your, Sarah's got to deal with that. Yep. That is heartbreaking. But I can see why the mom. That's just the way it is. Yeah. And it it is really upsetting. But and Megan um, saying, I'm so angry. I could kill him right now and not feel bad about it. I believed her. Me, too. (laughs) I loved that. Oh, my Uh, God. I did, too. Yeah. (sighs) Megan, Megan impressed. Like that behavior was amazing. And now looking back, I think Megan was just in love. And she just because she just thought that Michael was in love with her and she was going to come move and. I feel bad that I was such on team Sarah, but I do. I love Megan more than anything. She was, she really was, she was impressive. She brought it. Um, Sarah, she's leaving. Mike calls, hangs up on him, talks again. Um, she just starts going off about everything. Um, I love how he conveniently calls all these times. I know. Right. Um, I did think it was sad when she was talking about the kid about Aviana and like, Oh oh, yeah. That that was heartbreaking. heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, and she gets into another vehicle. I don't understand all these cars. Yeah. And a how different she car. All these different cars. I don't. It's weird. I don't understand either. What is she doing for a living? I don't know. We didn't she get a recap off. of the friend. I, I'll miss. I know. Where's. Is she weightlifting in the gym? Yeah. Where is she? <laughs> Come on. She's probably lifting in that three, uh, three equipment gym in her apartment complex. She's teaching her spin class. <laughs> right. Um, so Megan comes home. Uh, it was kind of sad because like she really like. She had no makeup on. She just looked like she just rolled home, like sad oh, and broken. Poor thing, Ugh. I know. Looking beaten down. I love dad. What are you doing here? Um, and when she tells him, he throws his dish towel down. <laughs> I love the dad. <laughs> I love him. He's so sweet. And he was like, I'm not going to tell you I was right, but, uh, you know. <laughs> I know. I did my due diligence. Yep. I really would love the dad to just rip into oh, Michael. Me too. I just, I loved, and he's like, I'm not surprised, but, you know, I feel real bad for you. She just breaks down. He's holding her. Oh. Just, oh, so sad. Good I dad, though. L- yeah. Well, what I, a good she'll dad. be okay. She'll be but right. she's still in touch with him, whatever that means. And he, yeah, and he says, like, do not contact him. And she's like, but I need answers. She's like, you don't need answers. You got all your answers, which I thought was very wise. Like, oh, yeah. you did get all your answers. He used you. It doesn't matter why, what, uh-huh. blah, the timing. Yep. It doesn't matter. Like, no. none of that matters. That's how he is. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's the hardest pill to swallow in life. 100% when it's like. You even you want some you want them to say something that's gonna make you feel better, but nothing can really I think yeah, make you feel nothing better. Nothing they the say, situation. yeah. It's really a tough it's good old dad though. Loved the dad. Love him. Um He's a good dad. So while she's doing an interview, he called Michael calls Megan. She asks if he was married. He's like, I don't want to answer these type of questions right now. Um and then I which I thought was weird. She hangs up, then he like does a video interview from prison. Yeah, I love the is, producers. They're ruthless. <laughs> right. Where he essentially says 
he still loves Megan, but he also loved Sarah and he apologizes, but he's still playing both sides to me. Like, 100%. yeah, he loves Sarah because he just wants to be in his daughter's life. But that's yep. it. 100 percent. He doesn't love her. And yeah, the the wrap up for the thruple was they're both still in contact with him. What does that mean? Jeez. Really? Like insane. What I an think... insane. <laughs> Sorry. What an insane story. I wonder where Megan is. Yeah. Never I don't seen think she like she might it. talk to him here and there, but I doubt. I hope not. She's, I hope not either. Her dad's not going to stand for it. God. What uh, what casting though? Shout out to the Love After Lockup producers for this gem. Seriously. I just It was how epic. Did, how did they find it? It was amazing. That season finale was the best. Oh. It was a perfect season finale. That's what I want in a season finale. You got wrap-ups on everything. Yeah. Nothing was left hanging. Seinfeld, take note. Friends, take note. That's a season finale. Game okay? of Thrones, take note. We're approaching. Oh, man, you must be scared about oh, what that scared is. Scared shitless. Um, yeah, it was a... What, what a show. What a show. Love After Lockup brought it completely. I'm just... I'm thoroughly... I was thoroughly happy with the time I committed to this program. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Like, it was It worth needed my two time. hours, too. The finale was worth two hours. And I was mm-hmm. happy every week wasn't two hours. Like, give me an hour show. No, I don't need no, two hours. Yeah, no, no, no. That would be too much. Like, 90 yep. Day Fiance needs to take a page out of that. Yep. Yeah. Totally. Uh, it was good, though. I feel, I mean, I really felt for Megan, and I was so impressed My with heart breaks for that. her. I would love to see her be the Bachelorette. I love oh, her. That would be good. That she would be good. She is so cute. See? She's gorgeous, too. I yeah, find her beautiful is. inside and out. When she was sitting there and she's telling the woman and she's telling Sarah, you know, he did this to us. And yep. she's rationalizing this. And she's just learned the information. Yep. Sarah has had time to go braid her hair and yep. buy some prison outfits to come walk in on. Yep. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Megan is a class act. She I love is. her. Her yeah. parents raised her right. Yep. What a, what a great season. Um we hope that you all enjoyed listening to us talk about it as much as we enjoyed ranting and watching it. Um, we will definitely be talking the next season of Love After Lockup for sure. And we will also be talking 90 Day if you're in the same wheelhouse as us. You're probably watching both shows, so we'll oh, be yeah. doing that. Um, and in the meantime, we'll probably wrap up, keep talking Temptation Island till the end there because I think crossover a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you like us, rate, review, and subscribe. Tell us your thoughts about Love After Lockup season as a whole. Send us an email, escape to rally podcast at gmail.com. Especially if you have uh, any experience with bail. I want to know how that works. <laughs> yeah, we want to know. Yeah. Holler at us. And uh, any uh, and if anybody else has a TV show that they're loving. Yes, let us, let us know. know. Yeah. Yeah. At escape to pod on Twitter, escape to rally podcast goes down in the DMs. Let us know what we should be watching because we're always looking for the next uh, Love After Lockup trash. So. Holler at us. Got a new TV show that goes down in the DMs. I like that. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, yeah, we're happy you're all here on the ride with us. And uh, let us know what we should be watching next. We'll be in touch. We love you all for listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye.